Merchants in San Francisco's Richmond district struggling with theft. The most recent case, an antique shop where thieves broke into the store and took one of a kind items. They took um, two cases of jewelry. They took my laptop computer. They took the big uh, Tiffany Six Lily lamp. Good evening, everyone. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebeck. Rubies, emeralds, beautiful vintage watches, all of it ripped off in seconds. Thousands of dollars stolen from a store with a rich history in the city's Richmond district. New at 10, KTVU Zach Sauce has been talking with the owner. He joins us live tonight with the story. Zach? Yeah, good evening. This is how they got in, breaking right through the front door, this thick glass on the front door, stepping right in. And the owner here says she's just the latest business in this area to be robbed by thieves. I don't know what to do. I don't know. For 46 years, Phyllis Nabhan says she's run this antique store on Clement Street in San Francisco through earthquakes and then COVID, which almost wiped her out. I couldn't come to the store for a month. And now reeling from the loss of more than $12,000 in merchandise stolen from her store Gaslight and Shadows Antiques. They took the whole case of watches. They took um, two cases of jewelry. Irreplaceable vintage watches and the jewelry. Sterling silver and it had rubies and emeralds in it. It was very expensive. The thieves also making off with a pricey Tiffany glass lamp and her laptop. Phyllis says it's likely that the thieves started casing her store on Friday when her motion sensor started going off over and over again. She assumed it was a short, but police telling her. They were probably jiggling your door to set off the alarm and they're, they're parked down the street to see the police response time. Oh, it could have happened to any store, and it has. It's happened to all the stores up and down Clement. Day after day, she says she's been receiving theft alerts from a local business association across the street. The Royal Ground saying it's been burglarized multiple times over the last few years, and down the block, a tobacco shop says they've reinforced their door after thieves wiped out their inventory of cigarettes. But people keep trying to break in. Back at Phyllis's shop. I can't believe how many people came in the store today to buy things to support me. Thank, Thank you. you. How about customers like Christine Rumpak? Yeah, it's surprising, but it happened a lot, and so many times I heard about this. So um, sadly, it's became quite a norm. Oh, thank you. One neighbor even dropping by to bring her dinner. Phyllis buoyed by the community support. She says she just wishes that the penalties for crimes like this were more severe. Still, she says she's a believer in the old saying, what goes around comes around. And the people that take what they want, you know, it's going to come back to them. And Phyllis hoping that you may see some of her stolen items online, uh, perhaps at a flea market. If you have, call police. If you have any information, call police on this uh, burglary. Live in San Francisco, Zach Sauce, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, neighborhood shop there on Clement. You hate to see it hit, but at the same time, you do like to see that community, Zach, come together, go inside, and start to make some purchases. Let's hope police find those responsible. Zach Sauce, live there in San Francisco tonight. Zach, thank you.